Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back today with a brand new video, and today we're back with the best shooter games on Roblox 2020. And like always, at the end of the month, we are hosting a free Robux giveaway. So if you want to win some free Robux, please just like, comment, and subscribe on this video. That's all you have to do. But like I said in this video, today guys, we're going to be talking about my favorite Roblox shooter games that I think you guys will enjoy that you've probably never heard of. But first up, we're talking about Counter Blocks Roblox Offensive. So Counter Blocks, also known as CS Bow for short, is obviously a recreation of CSGO, which is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is a very popular PC game if you've never heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, then you've probably been living under a rock, because this game is enjoyed competitively on the pro level all the way down to casually at home, and it's a lot of people's favorite games. You see, this is one of the most popular games on all of Steam, which is basically like the game marketplace for PC gaming. So you might think, with the original game being so popular, what is the point of this game in Roblox? But there's actually a good reason for it. You see, my reason for enjoying the Roblox version is that it's more casual, because a lot of the people who play CS are very competitive and I cannot compete. I love competition, but when you just cannot compete, that makes the game not fun and not that much enjoyable. So that's why I prefer to play CS Bow over CS Go. But next up, we are talking about Phantom Forces. So Phantom Forces is a game that I would say closely resembles Call of Duty Black Ops 1 or 2 the most, because these two games are very well liked and very well received just by the general population. And if you've never gotten the chance to play those games, or if you want to go back and have an experience similar to those games, then Phantom Forces is definitely the Roblox shooter for you. Like I said, Black Ops 1 and 2 are a lot of people's favorite shooters of all time, and for this game to even resemble that, even in the slightest, is a huge compliment. A lot of people really love this game, and in my opinion, this is one of my top 3 or so Roblox shooters that I really love to enjoy playing. So, like I said, if you want to get that type of experience again or for the first time, this is definitely a game that you should try out and definitely a game that I would recommend to you guys today. But next up, we're talking about Tommy's Island Royale. So as you can probably tell from the look and the style of this game, this game closely resembles Fortnite inside of Roblox. And this is actually very useful, kind of similar to CS, because a lot of the people who still play Fortnite are very competitive. So this is more casual, so that leads to more fun play for casual players. Also, Fortnite actually has a broken ranking system, which even people like Ninja and Tifu do not like. They reward you more on time played compared to how good you play, and that's just something that Tommy's Island Royale does not do. So they have a better ranking system and it's more casual, which leads to more fun play, and that's exactly why I would recommend this game to you guys today. But next up guys, we're talking about Alone. So Alone is actually a different type of shooter. You see, it's not your traditional first person shooter like a CS or like a Phantom Forces. It's more like a battle royale mixed with survival horror, so that's why I would closely consider this game something like 7 Days to Die, or maybe even H1Z1, or maybe even a combination of both, because it takes elements from both games and it combines it into one super interesting game. Like I said, it's a different type of game so it might not be for you, but if it is, trust me, you will enjoy this game. But last up, we're talking about Unit 1968. So this is a first person shooter through and through, but it's a themed first person shooter. And that's what makes it interesting and that's why I saved it for last. As you see, this game is based on the year 1968, which is the year of the war. So if you're really into war, or if you're just a historian who likes history, or maybe even if you just want a game that's different, that's not played like the other games, then I would highly recommend this game. Because this game is themed to everything from the menu music, to the menu, to the guns, to even the way you can load out your classes. So it's super interesting and it's just a fun game in general. So if you want something new to play, I would definitely recommend checking out one of these games. And that's been the video guys. This has been the best shooter games on Roblox 2020. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you do not miss out on our Robux giveaway.